there are people that need to be arrested, they need to be before the courts, and they need to be locked away uh, in order for, to really create safety. And that's something that um, um, unfortunately has to happen. We certainly learned that in our last spat of gang bonds. When you put the right people away, get them before the courts with the right kind of prosecution packages, you have effect. Uh, and in our case, that is certainly one of our major goals. We are presently involved in um, over five major operations that deal with gun and gang violence in the city. We have several others in the queue waiting to be uh, stood up. We have over 85 other operations within the city related to this event and, and have coordinated ourselves in, uh, to uh, create a ongoing real-time intelligence picture about what's going on and help to inform us about how to deploy and how to react to this. Our homicides we've related to gang problems last year were, I think, one, and this year we're up to five. Um, the real story behind that, though, is, uh, is the events that were, where homicides didn't occur but could have occurred because of the amount of the presence of weapons and then the propensity to use those firearms and things that have just resulted in things like last night where nobody died but people could have and should have died. And those are the things that are really alarming to us. The numbers of the actual statistical numbers, I'm certain we're seeing big increases in the presence of weapons on the street. I think we're seeing, we're predicting about an 80% uh, uptick in uh, our seizures of weapons this year, which shows some good work, but it's those are alarming numbers. and. Uh, issues we're trying to get on top of and uh, you know I'd still say this Calgary is an incredibly safe city to live in in general for people I think you know people couldn't you know you certainly couldn't deny that Calgary's still a, a positive place to live but these sort of things are what the police are here to get in front of so that concept of a safe city doesn't get eroded by the acts of you know, quite frankly very evil people.